Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eunice here. So I know it's been like a million and three years since I posted on here, but I'm about to share with you guys what I've been doing throughout that time. As you can see by the title of this video, I will be sharing with you guys shows you have to binge watch on Netflix. Okay, so we all know like the amazing shows like On My Block or Outer Banks, you know, like the ones everybody's been watching these days. So I'm not really going to go over those ones because those are as, like we already know, right? The first show you guys have to watch is Money Heist. Okay, so my sister has been telling me about this show for like ever and I have just been like, you know what? Doesn't seem like my kind of show. Not going to watch that. Uh, excuse me this show is amazing there's four seasons as of this moment that I'm filming this video so guys this show is literally about a group of people who rob a bank they don't do this one time they do this twice now I haven't seen season four yet so maybe they do it three times so yeah literally it's just about them robbing the bank and like the motives behind it and how it works and I'm pretty sure if somebody watches this video and wants to rob a bank and they follow the plan of this it'll it'll work whoa FBI I'm not I'm not doing that I'm not about to rob no bank all right so this is another show that I'm pretty sure nobody knows about I think maybe 0.6% of the world's population has watched this show. And this show is called Turn Up Charlie. Okay, it's about this guy, he's a DJ, and he somehow ends up being a nanny for his best friend's daughter. And you just see his life. And actually, it's really good. It's funny. It's don't, it's not PG. It's, it's not PG stuff. Oh my God. There's a beat right there. Let's pause this video just for a second. Okay, another show I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now also is Insatiable. We already know the <laughs> Debbie Ryan's in it, so <laughs> what more can you ask for? This show is like about pageants and a crazy girl or two or three or four. It's, it's literally, it's not realistic. <laughs> Okay, so another show that I think recently just came out is called Raising Dion. When I first saw the trailer, I saw that Michael B. Jordan was in it, so you already know I clicked that play button so fast. That show is about this boy who has special powers, and he's just trying to figure it out with his mom. There's only one season so far. I, I didn't hear it got canceled or anything. Maybe a new season is coming out this year. I don't know, but that show was fire. Twist at the end, guys twist okay now this show has become my favorite show i watched it twice in the span of one day the first day it came out i watched the season twice in that day this show is called never have i ever there's just too much there's just <laughs> the vibes the energy of this show is on point I love this show so much. It's funny, it's like, it's real. It's a true story that the director herself, it's about her life. Oh, just like, if you guys watch All My Block and you, you, like, you feel that humor and that like I relate to you kind of feeling, it's like that. I am so in love with this show. Watch it, please. Comment down below if you already watch it because we on the same wavelength. <laughs> we we understand each other now. Okay, now this show that I'm about to say is for people with strong stomachs. Okay, so me and my friend, we love like murder mysteries. We love like FBI behavioral analysis, like, you know, criminal minds kind of stuff, if you know what I'm talking about. This show is called Mind Hunter. This show feeds into my issues. You gotta have a strong stomach. It talks about murders really graphically. It and it's like real and they talk about Ted Bundy they, yeah these are real killers I think yes I am so on point these are real killers and they're just like reenacting like the interviews of them and this is the way they came up with the term like serial killer and stuff so watch this show 
Okay, this is another show that's been out for like a long time, I think. I remember watching this when I was in grade six with my teacher. She would play it when we had indoor re hmm. Those were the days. <laughs> when we had indoor recesses, recesses, when it was like raining or cold weather outside or whatever, she would put on Sherlock. And the first episode I was like, yo, this is boring, it's kind of slow. And we'd, we'd watch like every, like what week because it was always an indoor recess for some reason and i grew like so in love with this show um and it, you, you guys know the story of sherlock he, this guy's a genius i don't know how i don't know why but this show is just popping whoever like the director and the actors and everything just be give them some give them a raise bro and i'm weird because okay listen uh i love not, it's not anime, animations show, animation shows. So you will catch me, I'm not, I'm, this is no cap. On a Saturday afternoon, you walk into my room, what are you watching? I will turn my screen around. I'm watching either Peppa Pig, Dora, Paw Patrol, or Franklin. That's what I'm watching. I am obsessed with those shows. I don't know why. Oh, and, and Thomas the Train, mm, Thomas the Train, Something about that show. I love animated shows like that. I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. And I don't know if I'll ever grow up, but I love those shows so much. There's a show called The Hollows. Okay, The Hollows, season two just came out by the way, but this show, it's animated first of all, and it's, it's like, oh, I don't wanna spoil it. But how do I explain it? Okay, so these kids wake up in a place. They don't know what's going on. There's three of them. They just, they have no idea what's going on. They just wake up with no memories at all. They don't even know their names. Dang, that's hard to explain. But literally watch the trailer. I think just go on Netflix, search up The Hollows and watch the show for yourself. It's actually pretty good. And it has a twist too, so. All right, and the last show I have for you guys, this is a well-known show. Everyone knows this show, I think. If you don't know, you'll you be living under a rock. It's called Prison Break. Prison Break, I think, has six seasons out. Five, maybe? I don't know. I watched the show when I was hella young. We just love this show. This show, at times, it can be slow. At times, it's gonna be like, yo, where the drama at? Where the action? Somebody died fast or something like that. But this show is really good. It's about this pair of brothers one of them the smarter of the two breaks out of every prison has been in is what i'm gonna say this show really plays into the fact that the government be hiding so much from us mm. 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 Yeah, that's pretty much it so i hope you guys like this video and i don't know if i wanted too much depth about them maybe i should have said like the main characters names <sighs> am i about to film this whole video again I don't got time for that. You know what? <laughs> so watch these shows. They're really good. Comment down below if you've watched them already and you're like, I feel you. These are so good. Um, so yeah, we hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, share, tell your friend. Dang, it's been a while. I forgot my outro. Okay. Tell your friends about me, make fun of me, do it all. I don't care. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Bye.